Hey, there's a good one. You missed one, Freddy. Hey, that'll make a big explosion. Hey, watch, J.D. Hey, don't waste the ammunition, Freddy. Those big clouds are hard to find. Okay, okay. I'm tired. Let's rest a while. What are we going to do up the treehouse today? Roast potatoes. That's all we ever do is roast potatoes. I hate potatoes, and besides, it's too hot. Okay. Then we'll snitch you watermelon. How's that? Great. Who's? We'll take one from Mr. Will. They're the best. No, let's snit somebody else's. You know what me and old Will would do if he catches us. Ah, uh, don't be a kid. The only melon he cares about is that big seed melon. I don't want to go no place near him. We can snitch a tiny one off the edge of the patch. Okay, you go. Well, you're smaller. But I want to get bigger. Okay, I, I was just doing it for you, Freddy. I know how much you hate potatoes, and how you'd much rather have a nice, cool melon instead of some hot old potatoes. Ah. Uh, okay. All clear. Ripe one, Freddy. Sounds good. Nope. Try that one. Yeah, that's the one. Grab it fast. Don't stand up. Scoot under. Don't stand up. Now, where's that old melon you've been telling me about? Right over there. Yeah, you weren't handing me any bunk. That seed melon's a real humdinger. Yeah, I've been crossing seeds for years to get it. Oh, I told you that. Yeah, that's a real seed melon. I'm gonna use the seeds from that melon for my whole next year's crop. Wait to see my crop next year. That's one of the biggest I ever saw, honest. Sure looks tempting for snitching. And nobody gonna get a chance to snitch that melon. Well, you better keep your eye on it, Wills. I'm going to keep more than my eye on it. Anybody gets close to my melon patch is going to be in for an awful big surprise. Well, I got to get going. Yeah, now, uh, be sure to tell the missus you're all invited to the big watermelon party. Biggest one this county's ever seen. Swell, that'll give us a chance to get acquainted with your new neighbors. Looks like they're uh, moving in today. Yeah, they came out from the city. Well, thanks for the ride. Crawl on your belly. I can't, I'll squash you. Come on. Let's make a run for it. Stay low. surprised you think Mr. Will's man? He's probably using double odd buckshot instead of salt in his shotgun. Maybe we ought to put this one back. Ah, oh, forget it. Let me give you a boost. I want to be up there when the new city people get here. Didn't anybody hear if they got any kids? We just got to get new members. Having a club with you and your brothers, the only members left, is pretty boring. I like it. Sure. I'd like it too if I were the president and you did all the work. What we need is a whole bunch of new members, so I can give orders too. Maybe, uh... Maybe we ought to get uh, Willadine in the club. I'd rather get Mumps again. Willadine. Ugh. J.D., you promised no girls. It's in the Constitution. Oh, well, uh, we'll make an amendment then. Equal rights for girls. I'll never vote for you again, even if you're all there is to vote for. Ah, forget it, then. Why are you always 
keep talking about Willa being Will's anyway. Well, I, I feel sorry for her, that's all. How'd you like to have no mother and a mean old father who cares about a melon more than you? What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, let's just don't stand around, Freddy. Neaten up the ammunition and be sure to keep the rocks and clods separate. And check the rubber on the slingshots. Too bad for you I don't have three hands. I sure hope they got a mess of kids. Well, city people don't have messes of kids. Looks like the father. Looks like the mother. Hey, here come the kids. I'll count them. Looks like a prune. Kind of sissy-ish, huh? You see, y'all. I guess. Boy, what a break. One new kid and a sissy to boot. Come on in and see the house, Harley. In a minute, Mom. I think I'll stretch my legs a little. Come on in, Willa Dean. As soon as I finish yelling, Pop. Got a pretty good wing for a city kid. I bet he can't run, though. Look at him. Showing off like that for Willadine. Them fancy clothes. Kid, you're on private property. I didn't see a sign. Then get glasses, hot stuff. I didn't come onto your property on purpose, and don't get funny. Hey, JD, careful where you're reaching. Let's find out how much you can take. Ow! Hey, that was a rock. Where'd you get them fancy clothes, city boy? <laughs> You missed! Battle station. Don't you know what? 
what a truce is? I'd have put up a white flag, but I don't have one. Why don't you be friends? Come on up if you want. It's a club. Okay. How do I get up? Lower it, Freddy. Climb up that. We used to have a wooden ladder, but there was no good place to hide it. I'm Freddie Gray, and this is my brother, J.D. Gray. I'm Harley Mason. Hello. Hi. How come you moved here? My dad's a new paymaster at the canning plant. You must be rich. He doesn't pay with his own money, Freddie. Oh. Where'd you learn to throw so good? I'm captain of our baseball team back home in Detroit. Don't you have no brothers? Nope. I'm an only child. Sometimes I wish I was an only child. If there was an only child in our family, it'd be me. Yeah, I know, but I might be in another family. Hey, you want a hunk of melon? Well, sure. Where do you hear this old melon thud? Is it ever right? Some thud, huh? Thud? That's how you know if it's ripe. You thump it, and if it thuds, it's ripe. Oh. We just snitched it. You stole it? No, nah, we snitched it. We took it off Mr. Wills. Back home if you take something off a guy, it's stealing. In the country, everybody snitches melons. It's not stealing. Stealing's just in cities. Our grandpa was a minister. And even he used to say the sweetest tasting melon in the world was a snitched one. Have a hunk. Back home, we slice melons. Here, we just dive in. Hands first. Thanks. Sure is a nice melon. It's stinky compared to the prize seed melon old Will's got across the road there. Yeah? Yeah, it's one of the biggest watermelons in the whole country. You can see it better through this. Thanks. Uh, don't city kids have spy glasses? Oh, sure. You got the wrong end. I'm sorry. Of course. The melon patch is over there. I'm just looking around a little. Yeah? Hey, look at that, will ya? That's a beaut. I'll give you a tip if you want, kid. Sure. If, uh, if you want to get to know that, uh, Willadine and Mr. Wills, it, it's easy. Really? Yeah. You just go right into that patch and, uh, make a fuss over that melon to Mr. Wills. Go into the patch? Gee, dear. I'll bet he'll ask you up in the porch to talk with him and Willadine. He's like that old Wills is. Well, I've got to help with the unpacking. But I might go over for a minute. I've never seen a melon like that in my life. Boy! Oh, uh, don't tell him I told you to. Make it look like it was your own idea, being friendly and neighborly, you know. You're just dropping in. That's a good idea. Uh, thanks a lot, J.D. Oh, it's nothing. So long. Oh, bye. That was real mean of you to do that to an only child. Think of his poor folks. You're right, guys. It's gigantic. It thuds, too. What a thud. Get out of here! I'll beat it! And stay out! Boy, look at him run! You were wrong, J.D. He runs like the heel flies was after him. Make it look like it's your own idea, huh? Get ready. Well, I'll get you for this. Get off that ladder. It's private property. I'll private property you. Now, J.D.? Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a dirty trick, J.D. <laughs> uh, go ahead and laugh. Just wait, though. <laughs> oh, Harley. 
Well, I'm in my room, Mom. Harley, you've been up here all morning. I've been aging up my jeans, Mom. But I've washed them four times for you. I know, but they still look too fancy and new. They look so old, I think I'll have to get you some new ones. You don't understand, Mom. Oh, I think I do. Come on, your father has a surprise for you. We're going back to Detroit? No, something you'll like even better. What's his name? They've been calling him Prince. Look at the way his ears stood up when you said his name. <laughs> Boy, what a horse. Now, just be careful, Harley. He's not like those old park horses you've been used to riding. I can't believe I got my own horse. My own horse. Oh, Harley. The man at the stable told me the Prince gets kind of skittish if he gets touched hard on his right flank. Where? Back here? <laughs> That's the way to handle him. Now remember, watch out for that right flank, Harley. I sure will. Come on, Prince. If you hadn't been so rotten to that new kid, we might have had him in a club by now. And he'd be home on the stuff. Hey, what's Willardine watching? Freddy! Freddy, the new boy's got a horse! <laughs> Now look what you did. You wrecked all that ammunition. The heck with it. Looks like a racehorse. Well, let's go get a ride. Are you kidding? He'll never let us after what you did to him the other day. You want to make a bet? You just watch me. What, what's his name again? Harley. Harley, huh? Look at him, showing off for Willa Dean. Hiya, Harley. How are you, Harley boy? Hi, Harley. And you did it, J.D. The only kid we ever knew with a horse, just for riding. Keep your shirt on. Hey, Harley, we came over to tell you you made it. Made what? Our club. What club? You know, the one in the treehouse. All that stuff we did the other day. That was just like an initiation test for our club. And you passed real good. You got A. Big deal. Hey, what do you know? You got a horse. We had our membership meeting, and you're in our club. When did we have a meeting? This morning. You were voted in unanimous. And so was your horse. As a mascot, he means. Yeah. Who's in your club, anyway? The membership's small. Well, why is it small? We well, see Laverne, who used to live in your place, moved away. And Stanley had to go to his grandmother's for the whole summer. And Rumpy Beardschmidt got to be a pest, so we threw him out. So it's just the three of us. And you'll have all the privileges we have as a full member. Well, what kind of privileges? Well, you can share the treehouse with us, and you can keep anything you want to there. Like anything you don't want the folks to see. And you can even sleep overnight up there. I can? Hey, that sounds like fun. But we do have a few club rules. And the first one is, we all share whatever each other has. Like what? Uh, like your horse. You mean you want to ride my horse? Well, yeah. I want to ride, too. Do you know how to ride real good? Do I know how to ride? J.D., you only know how to ride workhorses. I can ride anything. His name's Prince. And hurry up for my turn. <laughs> There's nothing to it. Hurry up, J.D. I want my ride. You're a good boy, Prince. <laughs> make him stop. Yahoo! Ride him, cowboy! Harley, make him stop. He's just playing a little. Hang on. <laughs> make him stop. Dirty trick! <laughs> <laughs>
just about right for snatching. That's why he's been gardening like that. That sounds nuts. He is nuts. So nuts, he's using double out buckshot in that rifle instead of salt. What do you mean, salt? Lots of folks put salt in their shotguns to shoot coals or keep kids from snitching things. But not Will's. He uses buckshot. Imagine a poor girl like Willity knowing her father would kill for a melon. He really cares that much about it, huh? Sure he does. Or that poor kid, she's like a prisoner. How? Well, they never go anywhere, and nobody ever comes to the house. She just stays there, and he just keeps on guarding that prize melon of his, night and day. That's terrible. Everybody in town's sick and tired of hearing about that big seed melon, especially Willadine. How do you know? She told me, that's how. When was that? When you weren't around, that's when. I bet she'd be glad if someone went right in there and snitched that big melon. That'd show her, old man. Hey. Maybe someone could sneak in there some night and put a note on it that says, ha, 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 we could have stolen your old melon. That's not a bad idea. But Willie didn't never get to see it. He'd just rip it up. Maybe you could address the note to her. Well, what good would that do if he did give it to her? The melon would still be there and he'd be guarding it even harder. I'm getting sleepy. You're right, J.D. It won't do Willie a bit of good. I tell you, somebody's got to go in there and snitch that melon for Willie sake. And you know what? I'm gonna do it. J.D. And I'll go with you. You're both crazy. Be too risky for both of us to go. It's bound to spot two of us crawling around in there. You're right, J.D. And what's that for? Camouflage. I put on my back when I'm in there. I'll need all the cover I can get. If I can't go, let me help you with that. Then. It's too bad the two of us can't go, Harley. But it'd be too big of a chance. Now, I can understand that. I can't understand any of this. Then you keep out of it. Well, it ain't sure gonna be grateful to me for doing this. I bet. Can't wait to hear her thank me for this great idea. I wish I was in your shoes, J.D. Well, uh, do you think you could do it? Oh, sure I could. Yeah, you run pretty good and you're kind of strong. You could probably lift it. And I think you got the nerve. You know what, Harley? I'm gonna let you go. With you? Nope, alone. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I know it means a lot to you. That's why I'm letting you go. Freddy? What? Get up and grab me that fork stick. What do you want a fork stick for? To hold up the barbed wire like this. The barbed wire? Yeah. Give me a hand with this camouflage. I think you're cuckoo. Honest, Harley. Now, the way I was gonna do it, was to scooch under the fence and inch up to that big old melon real slow like. Harley. Keep low. Just keep inching and keep watching me. You keep watching Mr. Wills. Hey, why don't you wait till Mr. Wills goes to bed? Hey, that's a great idea. Just great. Oh, no, it's got to be done right under his nose to show Willardine. But Willardine's in bed now. Are you sure this is going to help Willardine? And how? She'll know she has a friend. 
Lower the ladder for Harley, Freddy boy. It's a wonderful thing you're doing, Harley. Willow Dean will never forget you for it. And she'll know you did it for her sake. What the dickens are you smiling about? Nothing. You tricked him again. Ah, he'll chicken out. He better, because if he doesn't, he'll be going to a real big funeral. Shot in that gun, J.D. I know it. Poor old Harley. Poor old Harley nothing. He won't get past the edge. Sneak out of where he just sneaked in. Oh, he could see us. We could signal him to. Honest, I thought he'd chicken out before now. So sure to see him. You'll never be able to move it. I bet it weighs seventy five pounds. Anybody could have done it. Let's go. 
it. Come on. I've got it. That's okay. Come on. I've got it, Freddy. Careful. Don't drop it. Shh. Stay Keep down. It down. Shut up, Freddy. Come on. Come on. Don't drop it. Put it over here. Careful. You lose. I scared. I thought he saw you twice. You never thought I'd do it, did you? I sure didn't, Harley. I never thought you'd have the nerve. Sure would like a hunk of that melon. Me too. Come on, Harley, break it open. Here, give me a hand. Okay, now. Turn it. It's only crap. Boy. Well, dive in, fellas. You gotta get the first hunk, Harley. Okay. Best. Just the best. Have a hunk, J.D., Freddy. Mm. I never saw so many seeds in my life. Sure. It's a seed melon. Give me another taste. Mm. Mm. Thanks. melon I ever tasted. That's because we snitched it. No taste like the taste of melon that's been snitched. Mm. Man, we just say something for well then. Too good for girls. Boy. Great. Feels good to get all that gook off, huh? Yeah. I'm so full I could die. Well, there's a lot more to go. I couldn't swallow even a seed. What are we going to do with all this left over? Well, we can't bring it home to your folks. We better cover all this up. Yeah, hide the evidence. I bet this would have been the best seed melon in the whole part of the country. And how? You know, it's funny, but... I feel sort of sad. Come on, let's go up in the treehouse and get some sleep so we can get up early. I don't think I want to sleep up the treehouse tonight. You don't want to? Me neither, J.D. I feel kind of funny, like Harley said. Kind of sad. I want to go home. Harley? Yeah? Harley, I've been thinking. Don't say nothing to nobody about this. Because, honest, if Mr. Wills finds out... He'll kill you for sure. Got good reason to be sore, but come on now.
next year. They stole next year from me. Melon was my whole next year's crop. Sure is awful. I'm sorry for you. Years. It took years. It's terrible. I've been crossing it for years. Best seed melon in the whole county. Come on. Everything. They took everything. Thank you, Mr. Mason. It's all right. Harley? watching you from the treehouse and saw you coming this way. What the dickens are you doing, Harley? I'm trying to find as many seeds as I can to give them back to Mr. Wills. We'll help you. Yeah. Harley? You go near Wills now and he'll kill you. I don't care. I listen to you enough. All I know is I just gotta give them to him. Don't go alone. Take your paw. Harley? Where'd you run off to? What is it, son? Dad, I gotta see Mr. Wills. He's pretty upset now. That's why I gotta see him. What do you mean, Harley? Well, you see, I'm the one. The one who snitched the melon. I stole it, Dad. What made you do it, son? I just don't know. I got the seeds, though. I'm glad of that. That's the least you can do. Oh, come on. I'll go with you. I've got to go by myself, Dad. His pa. He's going himself. I can see. If he gets killed, it'll be all your fault, J.D. It was all your big idea. I never thought he'd really do it. Sometimes you're a rat. Wait till Willardine finds out it was Harley who did it. Who cares about dumb old Willardine? Let me have a look. Such a big deal about looking. Well, Deepers, I never saw a murder before. <laughs> Is your father home? Just a minute. What do you want, boy? Mr. Wills? Yes? I have to talk to you. About what? Well, about last night. 
I'm the one. I did it. You stole my melon? Well, why? Why did you do it, boy? I don't know, sir. Didn't you know that was my prized seed melon? Yes, sir, I knew. Do you know how long I've waited for that melon? No, sir. Years. Been crossing seeds and planting, watching it grow, hoping, guarding it, babying it along. Now it's gone. I know I did wrong, but I got the seeds, Mr. Wills. I thought you'd want the seeds back. The seeds are no help now, boy. It's all ruined. It's all I could think of. And I'll help you plant them. I'll weed the patch and hoe it, too. And I'll do anything you want to make up for what I did. You done wrong, boy. He knows, Pa. He wants to do chores for you, and he brought back the seeds. I had lots of plans for that melon beside the seeds. I was going to have the biggest watermelon party they ever saw around here. I was going to ask everyone. There's still enough other melons, Pa. There always has been. You don't have to have something special to ask people over. I suppose I built that melon up too much. I counted too much on it. Can't count too much on anything, Willa Dean. You don't always go like you plan. That's right, Pa. I guess you ruined one half of the year for me. I uh, almost ruined the other half. But the seeds are next year, Pa. Please take them. Well, maybe you're right, Willa Dean. It's all right, boy. You uh, run along now. Oh, well, Mr. Wills? What is it, boy? There's something I'd like to ask you. I mean, if I can. Go ahead. About the shotgun. I wonder, was it double odd buckshot or? I can't look. Me neither. It's only salt. Don't tell anybody. Well, why, sir? Well, how would it look for mean old wills to be using only salt? Harley. Well, uh, goodbye. That sure was brave of you. Oh, no, that's awful. It's the worst thing I ever did in my whole life. I don't know how I could have done it. Well, I don't mean snitching the melon. That was awful. I mean, coming over here to face Pa, taking your medicine like that. That's brave. Uh, I just had to, that's all. Harley? Yes? What's it like in Detroit? Very nice. It's nice here, too. You sure can ride a horse. <laughs> He's real gentle, that horse. Except he doesn't like to be touched on one spot on his flank. Or would you like to sit a spell? Sure, I'd like to. I wish I could learn to ride a horse as good as you. Well, I could teach you. Really? Sure, any time. <laughs> that sure was funny when your horse buck told J.D. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to die when he fell in that pile of mud and sloshing and slipping, getting up and out. <laughs> Wasn't that the funniest, though? <laughs> you know something, J.D.? I'm beginning to think we were right about Harley from the beginning. What do you mean? Well, look at him, sitting there with a girl. 
He is a sissy. Freddy, what's the use of taking a shortcut if you're going to be so slow? Wagon dragging is hard work, especially through here, and it's hot. Okay, I'll help you. Now, the work would be a lot easier if you keep a picture in your mind of sitting in the treehouse, sipping an ice-cold drink. With a piece of this ice we're hauling floating around in it. Is that your idea of helping me? It's good advice, Freddy, and I give it to you for nothing. How come you're so good to me, J.D.? Because you're my brother. You know what they say, blood's thicker than water. I don't care. I'm not hauling this load another step. Well, I figured on helping you about right here. With more advice? No. What about the wagon? Well, keep pulling it. It'll strengthen your arm muscles. We should strengthen some of your own. Hey. Freddy, do you believe the old McTeague place is haunted? Nah. Do you believe old man McTeague's ghost walks around in there? I don't believe in ghosts or haunted houses or stuff like that. Well, come on, Freddy. Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna go take a closer look. What's the matter? Are you nuts? Come on, Freddy. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's broad daylight. Daylight or not, I don't like it, J.D. What's in there, J.D.? I don't know. Hey, wait a second. Hey, come here, Freddy. What for? Give me a hand. Hey, there's lots of stuff in there. It'd be great for the treehouse. Take that side. One, two, three. <laughs> Give me a stick. Go ahead. Not me. I'm not going in there. You scared? Sure I'm scared. I thought you said you didn't believe in ghosts and haunted houses. I've been thinking it over, and now I'm not so sure. Uh. Hey, how about a nice, big, comfortable chair for the treehouse? Haven't you ever smelled ghosts before? I'm kidding. Uh, come on, help me out of here. Come on. Something's got me, Freddy. What is it? It's just a spring. Oh, it was too big anyway. Hey, look at that. Looks a little like my piano teacher. Something we've always needed for the treehouse. It's not gonna bite you. Give me a hand. I'll take it down. Hope it's not too heavy. It is. like this dirty old thing. And besides, it's too big for the treehouse. Hey, it's lucky it's not the whole moose, or we'd never get in the wagon. Mm. What was that? Maybe the place is haunted. I'm getting out of here. Hey, I'm only kidding, Freddy. I don't care. Give me a hand, Freddy. really are, are people's imagination. 
They imagine they hear or see something. Can you fight a ghost? I mean, can you hit it with something that it hurts? Well, a guy once told me they're awful hard to beat up. It's wrong to steal things from dead people's houses. It's not stealing. It's borrowing. Anytime anybody wants it back, they're welcome. Oh, we're gonna get in some trouble for this, J.D. You saw the no trespassing sign on the door. We didn't touch the door, did we? Oh, uh, let's get out of here. What do you think they did with the rest of the moose? Probably got away. Well, what do you know? There's Willadine. Hi, Willadine. Hi. Hi, Willadine. Yeah. Come on, Freddy, let's show Willadine our moose head. Not me. I got more important things to do. Like carry these to the treehouse. Okay. Hi. Where do you see this? What have you got there, J.D.? A moose head. Oh, it's terrible. Poor thing. Oh, it's not mine. It's Freddy's. I was just pulling it for him. He's a kid, you know. Look at those sad eyes. Well, that's what I told Freddy. Hey, you want some help? Oh, no, that's all right. No, let me finish him for you. I'd be glad to do it. OK. It's easy for me. I'm good at windows, Willardine. It is hot, isn't it? Yeah. Last summer was hot, too. It sure was. Harley told me he likes being near club. Oh, he hasn't been around much lately. Harley's nice. Oh, yeah. Very. Uh, your pa still mad at him? Nope. Oh. I bet you're glad he moved here. Well, to tell you the truth, Willardine, you see, Harley and I, we don't... Hi, Harley! Hi, Willardine! Hi, J.D. Well, watch this. Oh, that's wonderful, Harley. He sure can ride. For a city kid. Let's show him that new trick we've been practicing. Wait till you see this. Ready? Just great. It took a lot of practice, but I didn't mind. Neither did I. Hey, where'd you get that? Isn't it awful? It's Freddy's. Yeah, Freddy wanted it for the treehouse. Hey, how come you haven't been to the treehouse all week? I've been meaning to, J.D., but Willardy and I... It's I've my been fault, J.D. We've been riding every day. Well, right till dinner time. I'll get over some morning. Thanks. Did you get the windows done? No, but J.D. said he'd do them for me. Swell, then we can go riding. Thanks, J.D. Oh, it's nothing. We got a new trick we're working on, J.D. We'll show it to you when we get it right. I can hardly wait. He sure is a beauty. I'm getting to like him. And he isn't too big. He's terrible. Look at them sad eyes. You'd be sad, too, if part of you was hanging on the tree and the rest of you was gone. All right, give me a glass of ice water. And the spyglass. How come I do everything there is to do around here? Because we're short-handed. Oh. Where's that hardy guy who was supposed to help me with things? I've been thinking about Harley. You know, he never finished his initiation. He did, too. He did not. I know what he's got to do to stay in the club. I don't care about initiations. I just want some help. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. An idea you'll like because it'll help you out. Now, what you're looking for is someone, anyone with two hands who can lug things for you, right? And who you can order around. But not Willardine. Hey, now, what made you think of her? You know, that's not a bad idea. Why not Willardine? She's a girl. I know, but she's got two hands, and she's strong, and you could boss her. Nothing doing. Women are out. Okay, I was just thinking of you. Who wants girls around? I was just trying to get you some help. 
Hey, what do you know? Here comes Willardine and Harley. Let's go down and talk to them. I didn't say yes about Willardine. Hi, we were just talking about you two. Yeah? Yeah, we were talking about getting new members for the club. But it's in the Constitution that girls aren't allowed. Can I have a ride, Harley? Yeah, sure. Well, we... we could change the rule by an amendment, but... It's non-constitutional. All in favor of letting the girls in the club signify by saying aye. 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 I'm against it. Now it's constitutional. Well, Willadine, you're in. Gee, Harley, isn't that wonderful? Now, wait a minute. She's not in until she gets an initiation. Like what? Oh, you just have to do some little initiation and... By the way, Harley, you never finished your initiation. I thought I did. Well, just the first part. If you want to be a full member, you have to take the finals. What's the difference between a full member and the kind of member I am? Well, you can't be an officer unless you're a full member. What does he have to do? Oh, it's nothing, really. He just has to stay in a haunted house until midnight some night. I don't know if I can stay out till midnight. Oh, well, actually, we figured one hour in the dark would be okay. All right, Freddy? Yeah, but what about Willardine? Oh, she just has to run to the top of the second floor and yell out the window of the haunted house. What haunted house? The old McTeague place. <laughs> that isn't haunted. It's only empty. Really? Okay, when? Tonight. We'll see you then. Come on, Willardine. Hey, how about the rest of my ride, honey? Everybody shares things in the club, remember? I'll share when I'm a full member. <laughs> Is that house really haunted, J.D.? If it is now, it will be tonight. Nothing, nothing at all. Come on. Watch out for the bats. I hear there are vampire bats flying around in there. 
You got bats in the belfry. Now, Willardine, you go in first, then I'll go in with you. That's okay, J.D., I'll go with her. She goes by herself or it's non-constitutional. And if you start amending again, I quit. I'll go alone. Boo! That's very funny. Thank you. And very babyish. by the look on her face. Girls can't do nothing. I hope she doesn't faint. I don't like the idea of dragging her out of there. spooky shadows and things, and the place is real run down. But it's not too bad, Harley. See, didn't I tell you? It's simple. I told you I'd do it. Bet you couldn't have stayed an hour. Be careful on the second floor. There are lots of funny noises. Hurry up, Harley. It looks like it's gonna rain. By 10 o'clock, I want you to be a full and equal member. Unless a ghost gets you. Ghosts are just imagination. That's what I said. Who believes in ghosts? Kids. In me. Good luck, Harley. One hour. One hour, huh? One hour by the clock. Not a minute more, not a minute less. Hey, you ought to come in here and see this. It sure is a spooky looking place. Yeah, I know. J.D., I was wondering something. Whatever happened to the people who used to live here? Murdered. Oh? Well, look, Harley, if you'd rather not go in, it's okay. We'll understand, won't we, Willa Dean? Sure, Harley. Oh, when the alarm goes off, wake me. One hour. Not a minute more. Not a minute less. gonna do what I'm gonna hop around the side to see if he needs any help I'll go with you uh, no the both of you better stay right here he might be embarrassed if he does need help just leave it to me that sure was thoughtful of JD wasn't it Betty that's when you got to be careful JD's thinking
Did you hear that? That's what I was going to ask you. Scared, it'll show Willadine he's really a sissy. Ah! I'm getting out of here, Willadine. Did you hear all those weird noises? And there's a ghost in here. It's JD. We saw him. Honest? He's making all the noises himself. He is? He's trying to scare you out before the hour's up. Well, he's not going to do it. You Help. cried wolf. Get me out of here! We're one of you, JD! Help! I'm not kidding! Arlie! Arlie, help me! I'm stuck! There was a ghost! Honest! His head almost reached the ceiling! Your shoe's still stuck. I have a heck with it! The place is really haunted! Hurry up, Harley! Let's get out of here! Well, where's Harley? Come on, Harley, forget the shoe! You okay, Harley? Me. Come on, Jay, follow me. I'm gonna wait for Harley. Me too, maybe he needs help. I'm telling you, the place is haunted. J.D., Freddy, Willadine. Wait till you see what I got. What? It was in the hole where J.D.'s shoe got stuck. Money. Money? Sacks of it. Come on. And there's a lot more in there. Let's go back and get it. Come on, let's get away from here. Wait till you see what Harley found. Oh, 
Well, you all got rocks in your heads. I'm telling you, this place is haunted. Let's get out of here. This place isn't haunted, J.D. Harley was haunting you. Like you haunted him. You're out of the club, Harley. Why? You haunted him first. That's got nothing to do with it. Then why is he out? He didn't stay an hour. If he's out of the club, J.D., he won't have to share the money with the rest of us members. He's out. O-U-T, out. What money? This money. And there's a lot more inside. Wait a minute. Tell him what I said yesterday night about him. You said he never comes around anymore. Ah, uh, stop kidding. Tell him what I really said. Ah, uh, kids forget easy. What I said was that it was time to rotate presidents and who we were gonna get. Me. You're underage. I said we had to get a guy who could really take it. And Harley, you can. I don't know if I won't even be in your club anymore. But the club needs you, Harley. And you'll be the first president who isn't from town. Well, it's really an honor, I guess. I mean, to get to be present so quickly. It sure would be neat to have a rich president. I'd vote for you, Harley. See, everybody agrees. It's unanimous. Well, congratulations. Now let me get this window open so we can get in there and get the rest of our money. But the money isn't really ours. But we found it, didn't we? Hurry up, Will I mean? Who's the money belong to legally? Well, legally, it's mine. How is it yours legally? Well, my foot was on the money. What same as a hand? To who? To a judge, that to. If it's someone else's money, it can't be yours just by putting your hand or foot on it. There was a case like this in the Supreme Court of the United States. Someone versus someone else. And the Supreme Court decision was finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Is that where that comes from? In that case, the money's mine because I'm the one who got it. Are we going to share it like we share everything else in the club? Of course we'll share it. Because I had my foot on it first, and Harley had his hand on it next. And we're the two presidents. We'll share it. And give me 20 years something for nothing. Wow, look at all the money. Yeah, man. 50 50's fair, isn't it, Harley? I'm in the club, too. It should be shared 50 50 50. But what about me? Who ever heard of splitting 50 50 50 50? Looks like there's going to be more than enough for everybody. I'll never look for an empty deposit bottle again. I'm going to buy a racehorse. I'm going to buy a hair dryer. I'm going to buy a racehorse and a fancy sports car. I love cars. Now, wait a minute. Hey, I found this one. I think we should put it in one pile and share it, even Stephen. He's the president. I second the notion. You can't second a motion unless a motion's made up first. You can when you're in a hurry. Now, look what you've done. Yeah, now look what you've done, wise guy. You pick it all up. You think you can make me? Harley will. He's president. I'd like to see Harley... Wait a minute. Don't shoot! Me shoot? Don't kill us! Kill you? I, I wouldn't kill a chicken. I, I can't even stand the sight of blood. You don't have a gun in there? In it? Oh, a gun, for heaven's sake. No, 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 no. You see, it's, it's my little dog, Cricket. That's what it is. Now, you can see he's a vicious animal. As the bark of a butterfly. <laughs> for a minute, I thought we were going to be murdered for sure. That's a dog? Yeah. Looks like a big rat. It's a chihuahua. But don't ask me how to spell it. <laughs> Would you hold it for me? Let's get out of here. Ooh. Look at that splinter. Hmm? Here, let's take a look at that. Wait a minute. Oh, say, that's a beauty. 
Now, hold still or I can't help you. I have a tweezer someplace. I'm very good at splinters, you know. Tweezers that comes under T. See, my pockets are listed alphabetically. <laughs> Ouch! Thumbtack. <laughs> That's the right pocket, though. This is the T pocket, see? Would you help me? There's, there's a timetable. There's a telescope. <laughs> Toothbrush. <laughs> tin foil. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just love tin foil. <laughs> no, and where are they? Where are they? They're in here someplace, I know. The, the, now, isn't that silly? A nutcracker. How does a men get mixed up with a tease? I, I don't know. I'm just saying, well, that's life, you know, things. Good. Where are those tweezers? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Now, just let me look there a minute, son. Let me look there. Well, that, that's a big one. Well, it's out. <laughs> Did that hurt? No. I told you I was good at splinters, you know. Thanks, mister. Oh, that's all right. You're more than welcome. But don't call me mister. I, I hate formalities, you know. My name is Alfred. I'm Freddie, and this is my brother, J.D. Oh, hello. I'm Harley, and this is Woolity. He's oh. a new president, and she's a new member. We, we just let girls in. Oh, is that so? Thank you. Where'd you get all those things? Oh, I've got much more. You see, I carry with me everything I have in the world. <laughs> you part of the McTeague family who used to own this house? Cricket seems to like you, doesn't it? No, no, I'm not a McTeague. <laughs> no, I'm just a stranger passing through town, that's all. If you're not a McTeague, then what are you doing here? Well, I was looking for a quiet place to sleep. <laughs> well, where are you going? Well, Crickets and I, are, I don't know, we're ready to go wherever the next freight train will take us. Where's that? Where trees get smaller as they grow. Where? Where a whole pie is less than a half a pie. <laughs> Where you can't take a walk because the walk takes you. Where you get up in the morning before you go to bed. Where children punish parents. That's where. What place is that? Well, really, it, it's no place. It, I don't know, it's just a silly little dream. I always dream. <laughs> but what are you children doing here? We came here for initiation, but everything got and in I the tripped on a step and fell in a hole. <laughs> Oh, what's, what's this? Hey, what do you know? Money. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, money. <laughs> I hate slopping houses, don't you? Yeah. Oh, me too. Is this what you were arguing about? Oh, it wasn't an argument. It was a talk. Yeah, that's what it was. They didn't want to share 50-50 with me. Well, I was the one who found the money. Found the money? If I hadn't gone into the house and then stayed out of the house. Well, if it wasn't for me getting my foot stuck, you wouldn't know anything about the money. You always want to share something. Hey, Peggy. please, please, keep quiet. Now, you see, that's what's wrong with money. What's wrong with money is I don't have enough of it. No, oh, I once had enough. I had more than enough. I used to be rich. You were rich? Oh, yeah, yeah. My picture was in the paper all the time. See, I had hundreds of people working for me. More than hundreds. But I'm modest then. Oh, I was at the office all day and all night. I didn't have time for anything but work. <laughs> I was building an empire, you know. I was, I was very persuasive. See, I, I remember once... Uh, I remember once I had a luncheon meeting at a fancy, dark little restaurant. And after I closed a big merger deal, I realized I was sitting at the wrong table. <laughs> oh, I was persuasive, believe me. And there wasn't anything I wouldn't do for money. Are you still rich? Oh, no, no. No, bad breaks, you know. Stock market, things like that, you know. <laughs> and then my poor wife passed away. 
My son's left home. My partner quit. And I got nervous and sick. Well, and then I lost everything. <laughs> and then? Then, do you want to hear the rest of the story? Oh, it's a story. Oh, no, it's not a lie, if that's what you mean by a story. It's my story, so, so it's a story, you see. I guess. Well, what happened? Well, I went broke. <laughs> No, I thought it was the end of everything for me. And then I took a long, long walk. And I walked, and I walked, and I walked. And when I stopped, it was dark. Then I remember I, I looked up at the stars. And then I cried. Because you had no more money? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I cried because I was looking at the sky, and I and I felt so small. I'm small for my age. Oh, we all are. <laughs> How can you get along without money, though? Oh, you, you don't need much, really. I found that out. We get along. When we need something, I work for it. We try to keep our needs down. You really don't need money to enjoy life. But it's easier to enjoy life if you have money. Well, I'm very happy without a nickel. We get along. I even give things away to people. Not big things, you know, just little things, because little things are all I have. Now excuse us a minute, Alfred. I was thinking, maybe we ought to give Alfred a share of the money. What for? He didn't find it. He's not even a member of the club. Well, he's broke, and we've got a lot more than we need. Don't be so sure. What about taxes? Taxes? Sure. You're working slave to get a little money together, and the government takes most of it. But we didn't work for it. We found it. Maybe we could compromise. No. How about giving Alfred just one bag of money instead of a full share? I'm against it, Willa Dean, as a matter of principle. It's not the principle that matters to me. It's the money. Well, one bag of money will mean a lot to Alfred. And we have so much, we wouldn't even miss it. I'll vote for that. Thank you, Harley. Okay, Willie Dean, I'll go along with it. I can see it now. The women are taking over. Alfred? Yes? Yeah. Well, we just had a little meeting. And? Well, we had a little talk. And look, there's a lot of money here. You don't know how much. And we decided that since you don't have any, we'd like to give you some. Well, that's, that's very kind of you. We're going to give you... No, no, I couldn't accept it, you know. Why not? Well, it's not mine. It's not ours either. Well, if it's not yours, how could you give it to me? Because we found it. I mean, that'd hold up in a court of law, wouldn't it? Well, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> you could take it to the police, and they'll let you know whether you're allowed to keep it. Yeah, maybe we ought to turn it into the sheriff. I'm against it. So am I. Will it be? I'm not sure. Two against, one for, and one undecided. It's settled. We don't turn it in. My, that was fast. <laughs> Look, why don't you children go home tonight and think about it? By tomorrow morning, you'll know just what to do. Hey, that's a good idea. It's all right with me. But what are we going to do with the money overnight? That's right. The bank's closed. And we can't leave it here. Why not? I'll be here. I'll guard it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You'll just watch it. Oh, yes. I'll, yeah, I promise that, yes. I think we better have another meeting. Excuse us, please. Now, let's get this straight. A stranger walks in here, a guy we've never seen before in our whole lives, and he asks us to trust him with a whole bank full of money, overnight. Well, I trust him. Sure, you trust him. But how do we know he isn't another Jesse James? He's too old to be Jesse James. All we know about him is what he told us. And even that sounded pretty weird. But he has honest eyes. That's what I was just about to say. Even though he is a stranger and sort of weird, he has those honest eyes. Sold out again. We decided to take your advice, Alfred. We'll leave the money with you while we think about what we're going to do with it. Well, that, that's fine. I'm sure you'll make the right decision in the morning. 
I just hope we made the right decision tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Alfred. All right, children. See you in the morning. Sleep tight. Crickets, are you thinking the same thing I am? This is an awful lot of money. I'll say it again. Dear friends, after you left last night, I did some thinking too. I thought and thought and finally decided what I had to do. I guess by now, my friends, you know what that decision was. So long, friends. I just can't stop using that word. I feel richer today than yesterday because I have four new friends. Your friend, Alfred. Sure, he's richer today than yesterday, and we're poorer. Friends. This is all your fault, Harley. You and your kind heart overflowing with trust. I never trusted that man, never. What he said about giving. Boy, oh boy. He sure did give it to us good. Come on, we might as well go home. Even his dog looks sneaky. Oh, your fault, Harley. You were the one who first said he was nice. Well, you didn't have to agree with me. Uh-oh, here comes the sheriff. How many years can you get for trespassing? Now, let me do the talking. Can your folks visit you in jail? Keep quiet. Hi, Sheriff. Morning. Glad I found you, kid. Something wrong? Well, there was a little old man by the name of Alfred. Alfred? You found him? Uh, no, he found me and he had nine sacks of money with him. He turned it in? Now, why would he do that? The money was identified as coming from the state bank robbery 10 years ago. And there's a nice fat reward. A reward? That's why he did it. All Alfred grabbed off the reward. He said he didn't want a reward. He wanted you four kids to have it. And he was just delivering the money because you were his friends. Well, where is he now? Uh, we have a watermelon for him. I don't know. He told me where he was going, but it sounded all mixed up. Have you ever heard of a place where the trees get smaller the more they grow? Oh, by the way, he wanted me to give you these for your club, for splinters. Boy, what a great guy that Alfred is. He thought you might be interested in this. Multimillionaire breaks ground for new factory. Hey, that's Alfred. Wow. Here you are, J.D. Oh, thanks. Hey, why don't I get my horse and we'll all go for a ride? Is it four of us? Sure. Gee, I'm sorry. I can't go. Good. You can't, can't go. go. I've got a date. Be right there, Slap! Slap? Slap's five for the football player from New City High? That's him. But he's so old. He's just 16. 16? He can almost shave. Now that I'm in the club, can I come up anytime I want? Yeah, you I can come so. up. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Slats is going to teach me how to drive. Slats is going to teach me how to drive. Hi, Slats! You got to kick her out of the club. And how? I told you girls was a mistake. We should revoke the amendment. You said it. You bet. And all in favor, say aye. 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 Now, put your left foot on the clutch. Uh-huh. Now, we'll put it in gear. Now, put your right foot on the gas. Right. 
Now ease off of the clutch and down slow on the gas pedal. Oh, that's too fast. Kid like her going out with an old guy like Slats. It's terrible. Better him than one of us, though. Yeah. Not the gas pedal! The brakes! 